uh, uh, hey, this is uh, Scott Kellerman again. Um, hey, it's Johnny. No, shut up. You didn't let me do the introduction. You said, you said your name. It's my turn. What, okay, yeah, my friend Johnny's here, and he doesn't know when to stop it. He doesn't know when to shut his mouth and let me introduce him, and he's lucky that he's even here right now after the travesty that he made on the last episode of my show. You know, if he wanted his own show, he could, you know, buy it with the money he made in that lawsuit with that guy from behind the, the video store. That didn't that didn't happen. Shut up, Johnny. You're not allowed to talk about it because of the, the suit. You're making stuff up. I'm allowed to talk about it. Shut up. Okay. Um, you know, normally in this show, I talk about things that really bother me in pop culture, you know, and things that are important, like philosophy. Why is pop culture called pop culture? Like, it doesn't involve, like, soda or anything. Are you, are you done? Are you done, Jonathan? That's... I'm just, I'm just, I'm just curious. Are you, are you done? Uh, yeah, I'm done. Are you, you're, you're so done. You're going to be even more done in a minute if you do that again. So, normally I talk about philosophy and, you know, pop culture and things that, you know, injustices in the world. things. Call soda culture. Shut up! I will just, I will, oh, I just don't even. So, today, I'm, I'm here to talk about something a little different. I'm here to talk about a problem with science. Specifically, one of the many strange aberrations of creation. I'm talking about that thing where you can't remember something. It's something you remember just like an hour earlier. But now it's gone. It's gone! And you can't, you can't bring it back. And you, and you keep talking to yourself and you're like, what was it? What was it? And your mind makes up this stupid fake answer that you know is wrong. And it just keeps feeding it back again and again and again like a computer system with a terrible malfunction. And before I recorded this episode, I was going to talk about something really important. But I can't remember what it was. Strange thing is, I can't really remember what it was either. That's not surprising, because your brain needs medication to function on the same level as a child. That's kind of mean. Shut up, you... Ugh. There could be some spiritual entities here hiding the answer from us. We should pray. Johnny... Johnny, I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't even allow someone to push their faith on me like that under normal circumstances. You don't even know what your religion is. Don't ask me to pray to a god you've never even spoken to. This is the stupid, stupidest thing. I just... I don't know why I'm here. I don't mean that in an existential sense. I know I am the god of my own destiny. Do, do you need help? D no! Uh, I, need, I need help from my brain to remember... What I was going to talk about on this episode of Scott's Thoughts. You sound kind of confused. I sound a little annoyed. Well, was uh, was we talking about was it was it Avatar: The Last Airbender? That's what my mind has been looping at me for the last fifteen minutes. I have nothing to say about Avatar: The Last Airbender. The movie? No, I don't want to talk about. I could talk about that, but I'm not going to because I had the good sense not to see that movie. I don't know what... Every time I ask myself, all I hear in my head is, Was it Avatar, The Last Airbender? No. Was it Avatar, The Last Airbender? No. Hey, 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 hey. Hmm? Was it Avatar, The Last Airbender? I want to strangle my own subconscious right now. And not for the usual reasons that involved the weird thoughts about my parents. I've read the books. It's in there. We're all that that way. Actually, those books are pretty old, and all the information in there is irrelevant. Johnny, you're, you don't know anything about Judaism, and you don't know anything about psychology. Psychology isn't really necessary. You just seek Johnny, out, you, you just should seek out your faith. J Johnny, you need to go to a psychologist to find out why you don't understand your own religion. Well, if you can't remember, then maybe it just wasn't important, you know. Johnny, that's a stupid wives' tale for idiots. Idiots who married 
husbands that are even stupider than they are. I mean, it's, it's not going to help you any, like, fighting yourself like this. It's you're, just raising your blood pressure. I, Don't you have blood you're pressure? You're raising problems? my blood pressure! Your face is turning red. Your face is I'm turning like, stupid! This you gonna, dumb idiot! This is going to make sense. Johnny, just shut up! You're not helping. You're never helping. Maybe I was going to talk about that thing you said to me yesterday. You asked me if I ever read the Kabbalah. And I said, you don't know what the Kabbalah is. And you said, yes, it's the best thing Tolstoy ever wrote. Now what I want to know is why I didn't punch you in the face that very moment. Because it was actually the best Shut thing up! he ever wrote. No, you, why do I talk to you? Because you're my friend. No, we're, I don't even know anymore. I need help. See, there you go. You need help worse. I'm going to send you back to the gaming clan land party where I found you. What are you talking I'm about? I'm going to smack a stamp on your butt and mail you back to whatever country you came out of. You weird... I, ca I came from this country. Well, then I'm going to mail you back here. Oh. But I'm going to send you on an adventure through the world, through the postal service. So you'll gain some life experience, because you obviously need it! So do you remember it yet? No! Are you sure it wasn't Avatar? No! It, it, John, uh, Johnny! It was not Avatar, the last airbender. It, positive. No. I'm, not I'm, positive? I'm, 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 it's, it was not it. Maybe it was Samurai Cop. What? We didn't even talk about that. It's because you've never seen it. Uh, yeah, I never saw it. It's an awesome movie. Why haven't you seen Samurai Cop? I don't even know what it is. Samurai Cop is the best movie. Samurai Cop. Since George Lucas released the, the the preview that comes at the beginning of movies where it makes you go deaf so you don't have to hear the terrible dialogue he wrote for Star Wars and see with the blinding you get bl you put the flames in your face you don't want to see all the re-edits I don't want to see Hayden Christensen or Jar Jar Binks in Return of the Jedi and neither does any other living human being actually Jar Jar Binks was a really cool I character. will murder you in cold blood Jonathan I will just slit your throat right now I, I found him very I will use the katana I got from the fan fiction festival for Samurai Cop and I will slice your throat like a piece of salami. Um. Sometimes it's nice to be reflective. Unfortunately. In that time of reflection, was you able to remember? No. Unfortunately, I remembered nothing. I'm going to go... I'm going to go slap water on my face like they do in the movies. And maybe pray for a while. There you go. You just, you just do, you just, you just do. I don't even care. I, this, this isn't working. I don't really know how to work these you things. Just don't even. I don't really. Don't just. I don't, don't understand these. Scott. Scott. Oh. Oh well. Uh. I don't really know what to say. Uh. Hum. Uh, uh, Scott, uh, he tends to get, to, to, to get, like, mad at things more than he should, and really, you know, he needs to, he needs to calm down, um, kind of really in the spot right now, I, I'm never really ready for, hey, Scott. I don't really like to be recording by myself. It, I never really know what to say. Um, this is... How do I end this? Hey, oh, he hey, came back. Hey, 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 Johnny. What, what are you doing? That's, that's not... <laughs> hey, hey, everybody. It's, it's Jay Kells. Where... where... Where'd Scott go? He, he started digging a hole in the backyard, and I thought maybe you'd know what was wrong with him. Uh, he said he was going to slap some water on his face. I thought that was a metaphor. What would that be a metaphor for? I don't know. Maybe hey. for digging a hole? Hey, what's a metaphor? 
about 10 pounds. <laughs> I learned that one in Ohio. Oh, the, um. <laughs> Metaphor. Uh, <laughs> it's the best. It's, that's pretty, uh, that's something. I think Scott might need to see his counselor. Um, he seems to be having an episode. So, he um, has those constantly, though, it seems. Well, that's yeah, that's unfortunate. These things happen. But, um, you know, since I'm here and I'm on the air, you know, in my natural element, where I really shine, I really, you know, do stuff for the people that nobody else can, I bring the wisdom and I bring the love and I bring the joy. Do you have any advice you need right now? Let's, let's kick it 80 style, you know, represent 88 in the house. How, how could it be a better friend towards Scott? He needs friendship, but I don't, I just, I don't know how to reach him sometimes. Well, that's a good question, Jonathan. You know, I think that friendship is like a donut. It's uh, circular because, you know, you, you start the love and the respect and it just, you know, goes to the other end of mm -hmm. the donut to the other person and then they feed it back to you. And it's like a feedback loop. Like, you know, when you can't remember something and your mind keeps telling you, you know, it's something that you know it's not that you wanted to talk about. Like so like, like Scotty's old problem out there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, but yeah, that friendship, it's like a donut. You know, it swirls around in a never-ending cycle. And, um, you know, sometimes it's glazed. And that's when you, you know, you glaze over your problems. Your problems are the dough. And sometimes there's, there's chocolate icing or, or pink... I don't know what pink flavor is. It's a pink collared icing. And sometimes there's even sprinkles. And, you know, there's like multicolored sprinkles for when you're in a multiracial friendship or, or chocolate ones for when you're both black. <laughs> well, you know, Jonathan, that, like I said, you know, friendship is like a donut. You know, whatever is in the dough, you know, when you bake it, that's what stays in. The good and the bad. The ugly and sometimes even the terrifying. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, you, it's what you put on it that really affects how the friendship plays out. You know, if it's a glazed donut, then it's like you're glazing over your problems. That gla but glazed donuts, they're tasty. Exactly, Jonathan. you got to think, think about this in metaphorical terms. You see, the glaze makes what the, in the dough taste good. Which is why, you know, when you're eating a glazed donut, the dough is subpar. See, I used to work in a bakery for several years during my youth. And, you know, the dough on glazed donuts is like, it's not even dough. It's a mixture of sand and stuff they found under the fryer. What? It's, it's pretty bad, actually. The, the health department shut that place down, but, you know, they, they, they found a way to reopen. Uh -huh. They knew who to pay the money to. But we're getting off topic. We're talking about the friendship donut. You see, you take, you take the donut and you, you either glaze over the problem... <coughs> Excuse me. Thinking about donuts gives me the gas. And you see... It makes me hungry for some donuts. Well, you see, it, you take the, the icing, and it can be, you know, pink collared, which is sweet, like a strawberry uh, patch. Which, you know, a, a history teacher of mine used to keep underneath his desk, underneath the floorboards, which, that's a fascinating story in and of itself, Johnny. But, you know, that's not the point now. It, the point is, you know, the icing can taste different, you know... Um, there can be chocolate icing, and, you know, you can put sprinkles on there. And, you know, the sprinkles are good, you know, if they're multicolored. But, but, but so, if, if you like, you're putting glaze, but wasn't that, like, covering up the problems? Yes, it's how you glaze over the problem in everyday life. Shouldn't you, like, glaze over... You don't want to get in the dough. It, it'll, you know, give you diarrhea. Uh... Friendship diarrhea. But, I mean... Emotional spurts and spews. So you shouldn't try to... Well, let, let me finish. It's, okay. You, you see, you got the, 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 the icing, you know, makes, makes the, the dough taste sweet when normally it's a very neutral flavor. Friendship is inherently neutral. It's what you put on it or eat with it that makes it taste good or bad That's or scary. That's insightful. I think so. You know, this is the Kellerman wisdom that's been delighting eons of children. Well, um, you know, and the other thing you can do there with the donut, you know, you get the icing on it to make it taste sweeter. Or, you know, you can put some sprinkles on there. Or as Vicky used to call them, jimmies. We used to have such arguments about that. I swear, I'm not a violent man, but if she would have, 
you know, she, sometimes she would just make me want to, that's, that's for another time and another subject. But, uh, sorry, it's just a, a painful so, memory. I miss like, you so much. Sorry, sorry. 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 Sometimes so, it hits me a little bit hard in the heart. Sounds like that relationship could use a bit more glaze. Well, she, she, she died. Thanks for bringing that up, Johnny. You know, now I know why Scott, you know, has trouble with you. You really need some communication skills or something, young man, because you're just, you're out the pipeline and zipping along like a surfer getting eaten by a shark from space. I'm just, I'm just trying to help. You just talking about friendship donuts. Well, and then yeah, you said that you had problems with your wife. What that? I mean, if that, you, let's not go back there. If you can't, let's just not go back there right now, Jimmy. Yeah. Son of a! That just does not. You just okay. sorry. Things are going off trail. We'll the trail. On. We'll move on. Mark Trail was a comic strip character. That's. that's, that's I wish I knew more about him because right now I can use the stress relief of a comic strip. Preferably one about animals. Because I do love nature's little children of God. Now back to the friendship donut. You see, you got the sprinkles on there, and you get the multicolored one, and that's what you have when you have a multiracial friendship. Or, you know, there's, there's the chocolate sprinkles, which, you know, applies if you're both black. Now... What if... What about the white ones? I don't think they make white sprinkles. Why? I think that's pretty obvious if you study anything about social science. It's not obvious to me, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. You, I'll, I'll give you a tape or a book or something. Um, anyway, so that's the thing about donuts. They're really not good for you, and ultimately neither is friendship. But we need them to get through our day. If you don't have donuts, you don't get that sugar rush you need to get through work. Or, in some cases, a turbulent marriage. This advice seems kind of... Brilliant, thank you. That's what everybody says, you know, and I'm so happy to have people like you giving me the positive vibes right back into the old heartstrings where they get played like the guitar of human love and companionship and compassion and wonderment. Now, the next time you, uh, you know, have a problem with old Scotty, you can just say, hey, Scotty, take those problems and beam them up. Because, <laughs> like Star Trek, I don't. there I, was the Mr. Scott, and they'd say, Scotty, beam me up, and they'd go in the machine, and they'd teleport, and they'd go into space and have wonderful I, adventures, just I, like you and Scotters I do. I don't think he would like that. I think he would get mad at well, me. Well, you got to understand, he has a funny way of expressing himself. By screaming at me? Yeah, he has insanity. some serious, you know, anger issues. I, I'm not legally supposed to talk about them on the air, pending matters, but, you know, just you know, give him the time of day and he'll be your best bud for life. Well, Johnny, I think you're, you know, you've learned enough to, to wrap things up here, so I'm going to go tootle off back to the kitchen and bake up a batch of Vicky's Lemon Squares. Just don't tell Deb, because she really hates anything to do with... I gotta go. I'll see you. See, see, see you, Johnny. Have fun with your little d d dolls or whatever you do. Dolls? You, you know, your, your collection. Scott told me about that. You know, it's okay to express yourself. I don't have... I see, good night. Good night. What was he talking about? I don't really think. I don't really think that was very good advice. I'll go check on Scott.